Sodded, sodded. Yeah. My hair is indeed down. My friend Connor, he's actually staying at Tokyo's best hotel apparently. It's called Amon, and I'm not sure if you guys are aware. Uh, it's like $4,000 a night, or it's like $4,000 a night. Or absurd price like that but basically Connor is staying at this top of the top suite pretty much the second best suite available to Mon. he's welcoming me to show you guys around the best hotel in Tokyo so stay tuned for that I'm gonna see how long I can go a full day with my hair down like this and trust me I do not want to do this This place already looks rich. Check that out, the architecture is insane. This must be the Amon. Fuck. That was a fucking trek. The whole tower is pretty much an office. Apparently from 33rd floor, it's all a mine, so... Let's check it out. Left? All right. Yeah, I'll call you later, please. Bro, this place is insane. Bro. Honestly, I don't even know what to say. The view is just... Out of this world, the ceilings are so damn high. Holy fuck. Yep. Yeah. Right team on. And this is what they call a corner sweep. And so we're literally on the corner. And we get a shot, clear shot of basically the whole city. I mean, sky tree. Tokyo Tower, just a lot. Almost 360, essentially. And so this is like the living area, I guess. You know, kick back, chill. Got a TV in the corner there. Uh, over here is where you know you get some room service or whatever. I mean, the room's pretty messy. We're doing some shopping or whatever. This is like study, you know, like office area, whatever. If you want to close this off, and here you have the guest bathroom. So just the toilet, no shower. And then I want to show you guys the bedroom. This is where I'm staying. This is my bed. And then here. Yeah, today's a cloudy ass day. I mean, the first day I was here, you could see Mount Fuji in the distance. Like, TV comes out of here. Shut up. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> what do I, who watches TV nowadays? Bathroom, which 
I think is the craziest, especially with Tom. Am I just sitting here for a bath? With this chip? Yeah. Come on, man. Shower. Same here. Easy. Easy. So uh, I heard uh, ASAP Bari staying here too. Yeah, but he's staying in a, in a smaller room. <laughs> the rookie room, right? Yeah, something like that. So what'd you pick up uh, while you're in Tokyo? Um, a lot of Uniqlo. The only yeah. way? The only yeah, way. literally. No explanation. Say no more. Super fire, Maddie Boy, Chrome Hearts. Rare bands. size. Yeah, my size. I actually saw the pair like this in London. They only had a size 7. They had my size. I looked out at the store we hit. So if you comment ID on sneakers on a picture where I'm wearing common projects, I'm not going to answer. I will literally ignore you. Like, I wear these shoes six times a week. And these, I've been telling you, I've really been put back on these. So no one laces these. They usually let it like flap, flap out, out, like this flap. It starts like getting used. Used, almost. right? Yeah. Just like the swoosh does, to yeah. be honest, which is a little whack. My pair is still pretty clean. Now, I used to have two and then... I traded my second pair, which had, was also was more beat than this one, for a DS pair of the all white ones when mm -hmm. I doubled up on them when they dropped. Yeah. So that was a good trade. Crazy. Nowadays, okay trade. Probably would have preferred to keep those because I don't really like the white ones anymore. I still have one pair, but uh, but I'm really into those right now. Uh, what else have I picked up? I haven't been doing that much shopping actually. I got a lot of vintage. Vintage. A lot of vintage. Right. Just like essentials, yeah. sweaters, t-shirts, good stuff. That's about it, man. Still a lot of shopping ahead of me. What's your favorite piece in your closet right now? That I brought for sure. For sure. Don't like. So yeah, you know, no one knows what this is, but if you do know, then you'll know. You'll know that these sweatpants definitely very, very hard to get. If you know, then you know. That's all I have to say. It doesn't get. Higher quality. And, uh, uh, this trap, obviously. Get this trap. Some uh, cuties. This jacket actually hunted this jacket down. Didn't even know what it was. And this is Raph by Raph, which was like yeah. the poor man's Raph Simmons at the time. Mm. And like, look at the detailing on the back of the jacket. Like, I've yeah. never, ever, ever seen a single person have this jacket. And I found this on Grailed after looking for it for like two years. In my size, dead stock with tags. Like from the time. Instant cop. Good price, pretty fair price. I would have paid more for it. But uh, so yeah. Casual snacks hanging around here. Wrap Take that. So like, you see how, did you see in the lobby how it's like a really high ceiling yeah. and everything? There's nothing in the middle, it's literally that. There are no rooms in the middle. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So this, these are all like, this is that area. It's like little storage rooms, but there are no rooms. So literally, they made they sure that every single room had a view. Just to go in it. Imagine staying somewhere like this with your girl or something. Would be Bro. Such a vibe. No, next time I'm here. I'm you're, you'll be here. Like, yeah. Girl, for sure. Heck, you ever watch this? Right now, I'm about to head over to Amman to meet with Connor and one of my good friends from New York, uh, JC, go to Nakameguro, see some Sakura flowers, get some lunch, talk about some. I'll take you guys with me to this place where this river is filled with Sakura flowers blossoming from both sides. If you guys ever want to go to Nakameguro, check it out. Kind of a must-go stop, even if it's out of season. This is a great artsy area where you guys can then just hang out, eat food. Today I'm wearing a Chrome Hearts denim jacket. This actually might be my favorite piece in my entire closet. I honestly got this for a steal. So one of my good friends is sweeping out his entire closet and most of them are like Chrome Hearts gear. And he showed me this piece and he was like, yo, do you want it? And I was like, um, yeah, but I'm sure it's going to be expensive because I've seen that piece somewhere before and it sold for like $3,000. And he's like, bro, no, I got you. I'm going to let it go for a steal because I need money at this point. I was like, okay, how much? And he's like, dude, honestly, it's fine. And I was like, bro, um, I'm going to gift it to you. Send it to me, whatever you want. doesn't matter. I'm not in a rush. He sends it to me, express shipped, comes in like two days. You really hooked it up. Thank you so much. Underneath, I have friends and fam, Savoy tea. Thank you, Yuki-san. Jones, keep the vision. That's pretty much it. I'm going to go head over. Stay tuned.
One day I'll be able to stay in this beautiful fucking hotel. I honestly have never seen a hotel like this before. So even if you're just like looking around, I think the lobby is free to go because there are people that just go there to eat food, uh, drink coffee, and do business meeting. I think it's definitely worth the visit. I don't know why, but I can't sleep out here. I'm too excited to be. Because when I was in New York, I couldn't. I barely could sleep too. Yeah, right. When, you, I yeah. Feel like when you're in a city, yeah, you're exactly. To do something. Yeah, different energy. We bring the essentials, the breakfast, at least three packs of Tokyo at essentials. Least. This is like, you know, not similar, but it's a good shop. That guy I thought was a good shop. This guy does like, he did like design for Margiela by her mess. And like, that's sick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's sick. Got very minimal. He was a we good need shop. that. This guy's a good shop too, but here, let me ask. Do you have experience? We have a handful of, you know, qualified. You just need to nail it down to like three. Yeah, And absolutely. then we just have to. So what do you hear? Like, what, I what are your favorites? Like, to be honest, like I went through everyone's work thoroughly because he has experience in designing for clothes, clothes and, brands. and yeah, brands. For sure, that's like yeah. But if he can get a hold of yeah, that by guy, Virgil, bro, that guy's the one that I feel if like. If we he, can get him, like we'll we'll be yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's that's all we need. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who else follows him? Uh, Sean Witherspoon. I mean, you gotta say, gotta, gotta say, say, that's gotta good, say, not man. bad. Nakamegaro right now, but there's way too many people for us to really just walk around, Man, but it's beautiful. beautiful. Like, I get why the people are here. Yeah, you get it. Food vendors that people just catch a vibe, drink beer, you know, have tapas. And, oh, they're all here for this, man. Yeah, but we're definitely relocating. Just too hectic and like, I get claustrophobic, so see you soon. These are going crazy on grill, did you see? Which one? Dude, I know. I know. Everyone's going for this shit too. Kuji's? Oh yeah? Don't know why. Probably because Ian Connor wears it. Like high key. Did you see a Bari story where he just like cashed out everything from Capital? It was only Capital bags. People are getting inspiration from this brand. Yeah, this is what I mean. People people come here for inspiration and they literally just rip off these designs and take them to and the West. Them, but, yeah. but you can't recreate quality over like quantity. Uh, quantity. Really? I come here for socks. How thick are they though? Super no, I use them as house socks. Yeah, smart. So cool. They're so thick, I feel like I can't yeah. even get them into yeah. a shoe. I get those animals. You know how much weed is here in Japan? You told me like A gram is like a hundred bucks. That's insane. And the moment you get caught, you're out. Yeah, you're, you're gone. You're literally deported, you're gone. right? Yeah. yeah. You know, like this this guy that I know got deported from Japan. He got in a fight. Crime rate here is zero percent. So low. It's like zero percent. The biggest crime here is shoplifting. It's like, bro, who who the fuck would want to get deported from Japan? Yeah. If I got deported from Japan and they denied my entry next time, it would oh, break my heart I if know. I could never come back here. I know. So I was like, why the fuck would I ever even remotely do anything illegal? Exactly. Like, I'm trying to be here all the time. Yeah. Huh? Hey, your gift. Hey. What is this? Uh, Masks? No way! Okay, this is the okay. important stuff. Oh, that's, the, that's the most important thing. That's right the most important. Are you making a video right now? Yeah, bro. Let's go. How's your flight? It was, it was long. It's a journey to get out of here, but it's worth it. Oh, it's a fucking journey. So you're coming from New York? Bro, I came from fucking Switzerland. Okay, that's even long. No, that's closer, you fool. How long was your flight? My flight was like... 14 hours? Mine was 14. Yeah. Oh, white here? No, I like the white ones. White 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 so we're at Domicile right now, which is very uh, low-key at the moment, but someday it's gonna blow up. It took me literally 45 minutes to find this place. No! Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you get a video of me running this? Can I try size 30? Size 30. Yeah. Can I get the video? Texture without the glitter. Yeah. This one, right? That feels like sugar. We need this. We need this. We need this. Huge. Huge. Do they have belt loops? Yeah. I think, uh, rock. I think you could rock them. It yeah, actually looks so crazy. Buffet. Sure. 
It is, man. Uh, we're at a store called Chicago, which is very popular. Kanye made it very commercialized now, but it has, still has a lot of good shit. Um, definitely check it out. It's in Harajuku as well. It's not hard to miss. It like Levi's. Very well curated Very well denim. Curated. This is this is kind of stuff that like kids like would wear. Would wear that like sometimes it's cool. Like even like one of these cool if I, if I could find a Nebraska right now, like that'd be cool. <laughs> Bro. Is it? Yeah. Alright. Bro, gun club, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> and look at this. Nebraska. <laughs> Dude, guess how much the hat was? Five one. It was 500. And then this this was a thousand. Hard. Yeah. So cheap. Wait, wait, no. I paid I, I paid 1130. So maybe it was marked out even more. Marked out even yeah, more. 11 dollars. 10 not yeah. 10 dollars. Oh.